Riley Sorolla coming at you with a new food review. Today, I'm in Hayes and I'm on my way to Dillinger's, which is a barbecue shack in Hayes on Pickhurst Lane. So I'm about to go in there and just showcase to you guys what it's all about. Boom. This guy I don't even know what you want to eat. Uh, I know that wherever I eat is going to be big. That's all I know. Uh, food galore. Yeah. What side are you going there? I don't think that's very dangerous. Wedges, that's beef, lettuce, tomato, bacon. Kill the outside of it. Oh, yeah. they're 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 it. It's good. Some it's good. Some it's good. Some good. Some Exactly. So, cheese, bread. bacon, yeah. two patties and barbecue sauce, fries and salad. That's half, I can't believe that is half a rack of ribs. It's massive. There's too much going on in your burger for the monster. Is that what it's called? No. It should be. Well, I'm naming it. Yeah, that's what it should be called. What? Everyone's got burgers. <laughs> what? Man's posing. Man. <laughs> oh, man. And your burger's creamy. I like my burgers more creamy. You see my water? That's extremely creamy. Check out. Sweet potato fries. <laughs> on Sunday. Bacon bites. <laughs> All up on the food. Thank you for work. We'll try the uh, sweet potato fries. They're good, they're good. And we got the normal fries. Also good. Let's try the coleslaw. Mmm. It was right about the coleslaw. <laughs> coleslaw is banging. Oh, that's I don't eat anything else there. They didn't get the chips right. That's how bad it is. Which is the one in now? But it's like Big Easy is like a barbecue shack, and I just feel like it's just all quantity, no quality. Like it's like there's no real seasoning. Like the chicken's bland. The uh, the ribs, the, no, the ribs, the ribs are bland. I'd rather go Bodine. Apparently the burgers don't. The what? Have you had a burger at Big Easy? The burgers are good. Yeah. See, for I me, said, the I said, all right, man. Yeah. I, I said that if I go to um, Big Easy again, yeah. I will try their burgers because I've literally tried, I've tried their chicken, I've tried their ribs, I've tried, I've the even chicken. had their, all the chicken outside. I've even had their lobster. I always think I can cook it. Is it a lobster? Yeah. 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 So just finished my main and um, I'm in a food coma. I'm feeling really, really tired. I'm waiting for my dessert to come. Anyway, I'm just gonna go to the toilets and uh, showcase you guys what um, it's looking like. Yeah, man, there. I want to take. Nice and clean in there. Nice and little accident on the floor. It smells fresh, clean. Yeah. So no, there's no cold pulling on none of that. There's no cold pulling on none of that. We've got like, a client base over 10,000. So the investment, different investment pros talk to you guys to let people do business with them basically. We're partnered with lots of investment products. And when we bring yeah. them out, try to do that. That makes sense. That's so cool. See the expression on your face. The expression of your face says it all. Yeah, so I'm gonna try this dessert. Where's the spoon? Alright. Oh, yeah, from where you were before. Oh, yeah, that was tough. Well, experience that got you this job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wish I was enjoying my job. No, that job that you was at before, yeah. That was punishment. Oh, hell. Did you say no? 
Yeah. I know. Down there. Yeah. So, so that's there's some people that you left there, innit? This one. That old one. Oh. Well worth the wait. Well worth the wait. Oh, I'm so glad I'm done. Pharmacy. I think I killed it. I tried, I tried to kill it, but it didn't die. <laughs> it's got a lot of sauce in it. A lot of sauce. Do you like that? I don't know what I like yet. I let you know. Tani could never eat that. It looks too sweet. For me. She could never eat that. Tani could never eat that. She doesn't like sweet stuff. She, 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 she does like sweet stuff, but not, not, not like that. Oh, you love it. Yeah. What? Ten out of ten. It's better than a crumble, isn't it? Better than this. Eleven out of ten. Is it? Eleven out of ten. Eleven out of ten. I'll be, I'll be honest. Like this, this crumble is just all the hype. That's exactly what Janet said. Like, it's so moist and fluffy. Yeah. It's better than this. <laughs> Eleven out of ten. Do you know, do you know what is wrong with this crumble? Do you know what's wrong with it? Too much apple, not enough crumb. That's what that's what's wrong with it. Too much apple, not enough crumb. So it's time for me to give you my take on the restaurant Dillinger's. I'm gonna start with taste. Straight away, I'm gonna give this one a four and a half. Almost everything about the food was amazing. It tasted good. The fries, the sweet potato fries, the bacon bites. If you're a pork lover, thumbs up there. The coleslaw, so creamy, like it was amazing. The burger, I had the cheese and bacon burger with barbecue sauce and although it was good, it was a bit crazy the amount of barbecue sauce they put in the burger, like it was completely swimming, the, the bun, the bottom half of the bun was, was soaking in barbecue sauce and you can see a massive pool of barbecue sauce on my plate, like I like barbecue sauce but that's just, that's just ridiculous, that's overkill, like who wants massive amount of burger sauce in their burger just oozing out if there was anything i could change that would be the one thing i would change so yeah four and a half for taste moving on to timing that's where this restaurant starts to lose some brownie points timing wasn't really good i mean the mains they took a while to wait for but the desserts were just ridiculous waiting a very very long time and yeah two i'm gonna give it a straight two after that we move on to presentation i'm gonna give this restaurant a one for presentation like i don't mean to be so harsh but it's like they had no clue when it came to making the food look appealing and appetizing. The food tasted amazing, but if you were to judge it based on how it looked on the plate, it was a complete opposite to how it tasted. It just, it just wasn't good. And um, yeah, I just feel that they need to put more, more effort and time into actually making the food look good on the plate. Now, finally, it's time to give this restaurant its overall review, overall value, overall experience, if you like. I'm gonna give it a straight five because this restaurant, in terms of the taste of the food, the service, the portions, it was on point. The, the, the staff, they were very, very attentive, very, very friendly, and um, they didn't rush you off when you finished your food, you could leave you know, whenever you felt like leaving. Like it was a very, very nice hospitality. The portion sizes were amazing. Like you got a lot of food for your money. And between the five of us, the bill came to 109 pounds. That was five mains, three desserts and cocktails. 109 pounds, that's just dirt cheap. This restaurant is amazing and it's no surprise that it's actually a popular place in Hayes. That's the end of my review. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And please be sure to subscribe where you can uh, tap into more videos like this one. So, till next time, peace. Booah!